Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Here we are discussing about the perfect numbers. In the previous tutorial we discussed the definition of the perfect number as well as we learned how to write the Python program to check whether the enter number is perfect or not. So today in this tutorial we are continuing our discussion on this perfect numbers and today we will write the Python program to print perfect numbers in the specific interval ok so before going to the program we will see the definition of perfect numbers perfect number is a positive integer that is equal to the sum of its positive divisor excluding the number itself that's nothing but to check whether the number is perfect or not we need to find out the perfect positive divisor of that number then we need to add that number then we need to check the sum with the actual number if both are same then that means that number is perfect number for example in the previous tutorial we saw the example of 6 so to check whether 6 is perfect or not first we need to find out its perfect positive divisor that is nothing but 1 2 3 and 6 these are the perfect positive divisor of 6 in that we need to exclude that number so we need to exclude 6 and we need to add remaining numbers that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 the sum is 6 right 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 so this sum is equal to the actual number that means 6 is a perfect number after 6 28 is the next perfect number okay the rest all numbers are not perfect numbers for example 4 3 10 15 these are not the perfect numbers right so this is what we discussed in the previous tutorial so today we will write the program to print perfect number in the specific interval right so let's begin with the program okay so first in the python file I'll ask the user to enter the input okay so we'll ask the user to enter the lower limit as well as upper limit for example if you want to print perfect number between 5 and 15 then 5 is the lower limit 15 is the upper limit okay so to store whatever the user enter input I need to take variable first I'll take my variable name as lower and here I'll use input function and here we'll write a message that is enter the lower limit that is we are asking the user to enter the lower limit and we'll store that result in this variable called lower and if you want you can change the variable name and in python 3 this input function will take input as the string value by default it will treat that as the string value so if i enter the lower limit as phi now it will treat that as the string value and it will store that string value in this variable but here i don't want that right we want integer input so we need to convert this input so i'll use int function here all right this is my first input next I will take variable name as upper here also I will ask the user to enter the upper limit here also we need to change the input to int ok so now we are done with the input part next so suppose if you enter lower limit as 5 and upper limit as 15 so these are all the numbers between the 5 and 15 so 5 will be the lower limit and this will be the upper limit ok so here for each number I need to check whether this number is perfect or not right so for this I will use for loop ok so to get these numbers from the lower limit to upper limit I will use for loop so here I need to use for and I need to take one variable ok so here I will take one variable called as num 
this variable will hold the number for which we are checking whether it is perfect or not all right so in range here i need to mention range so i'll mention lower to upper plus 1 upper plus 1 because uh, as we know in the range function this value is excluded okay if i want limit from 5 to 15 then i need to mention here 5 to 16 then only it will give output as 5 to 15 okay and here this variable will hold the number for which we are checking whether it is perfect or not initially if we enter the lower limit as 5 upper limit as 15 initially num will hold the value 5 next 6 next 7 next 8 okay and inside this okay now to check whether a number is perfect or not we need to find out the perfect positive divisor of that number so to do that we need divisor right for example okay for example if i want to check whether 5 is perfect or not i need to divide this with 1 with 2 with 3 with 4 right then i need to find out the remainder I won't divide five with five because, uh, as we saw in the definition, we want perfect positive divisor of this number, excluding this number, right? For example, five has two perfect positive divisor, that is one and five. So in our program, we don't want this value. We want only this value because in the definition we saw excluding the number itself, right? so we are not going for the 5 divide 5 all right so to get this divisors that is 1 2 3 4 we are using another for loop okay here for i in range okay here i is my variable name if you want you can change the variable name here i'll mention range as 1 to num that is because if i am checking whether the number 5 is perfect or not then here range will become 1 to 5 okay so it will give output as 1 2 3 4 so to check whether 5 is perfect or not we need to divide that by 1 2 3 4 these are the divisor we need right that's what we actually get from this for loop okay next inside this i'll use if condition okay that is i want to check whether the remainder is equal to equal to 0 if the remainder is 0 then only that is the perfect positive divisor of that number so num here we use modulus operation to get the remainder i'll check whether it is equal to 0 here num is nothing but the numbers if you enter lower limit as 5 and up, upper limit as 15 then initially num value will be 5 so here range will become 1 to 5 num value is 5 so here it will check 5 modulus 1 first after that it will check 5 modulus 2 after that it will check 5 modulus 3 after that it will check 5 modulus 4 in each case it will check whether the remainder is 0 okay if the remainder is 0 then i want to add that positive divisor right so we want to find out the positive divisor and we want to find out the sum of that positive divisor so for that to store this sum i'll take one variable called result and i'll initialize this variable with zero this result variable will hold the final result whatever the sum will get after adding the perfect positive divisor of the number right initially i'll take this result as zero here if the remainder becomes zero then i'll add that to result For example, if the number is six here, so initially six modulus one. Okay, so the remainder is zero. Here, remainder is zero. That means i is a perfect positive divisor of six. So we need to add that number. So here zero plus one. So result value become one. Okay. After that, again control go to the this for loop and i value become two. So it will check six modulus two, and it will find out the result again control goes to the this for loop and i value become 3 for 6 it will find out the 
perfect positive divisor and it will add that to this result and this result will hold the final result here if all the iteration is done that means this result will hold the final result okay and next here outside this for loop i'll take if condition and i'll check whether the number is equal to equal to result as i said this number is nothing but the number which we are check whether this is perfect or not okay here this is the result we got by adding the perfect positive divisor of this number okay if both are equal that means that is the perfect number right so i want to print that number okay so here i took print num and here you may ask why i took this variable inside this for loop right it's because here if you enter the lower and upper limit as 5 and 15 first i'll check whether 5 is perfect number or not okay i'll find out its positive divisor and i'll add that and i'll check whether it is perfect number or not after completing this i want to check 6 is the perfect number or not and for this process i want this result variable to be zero right here if num is not equal to equal to result i don't want to do anything okay that's why i didn't took else part here so now we are done with this code so i need to save this and run this so it will ask enter the lower limit i'll enter my lower limit as 1 and upper limit as 10 so only 6 is the perfect number between 1 and 10 so if i add 1 i'll add 1 and 30 okay 6 and 28 as i said 28 is the next perfect number after 6 okay okay so this is about the perfect numbers and how to print perfect number in this specific interval so that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care